Hey, what's up guys? It's Reflex, and in today's video, I want to talk about the Airgoo Digital RGB LED Light Strip Kit, and that's just LED strip kit, and the Airgoo Digital RGB Fan Frame. Now, to be transparent, I did receive the fan frames for free from Airgoo or Neon, I'm not too sure what the company name is, um, but I did pay for the LED strips myself with my own money. Uh, as well as, you know, everything else in the video. Keep in mind, all of these opinions are my own, and they're seeing this video for the first time alongside you. This all starts on the day I built this computer back here on January 4th. It's not the top of the line, but it is pretty good. It has a Ryzen 5 3600, RTX 2070, and 32 gigs of RAM, and it was about $1,200. So I'll leave that PC part picker link in the description if anyone's interested. Um, but as soon as I built it, I noticed that the side panel was a little dark. And by a little, I mean a lot dark. I could not see inside. Um, I could only see the parts that were lit up. So the part of the graphics card logo that lit up and the NZXT Kraken AIO lights. So the first thing I did a couple days after this is I went on Amazon and searched for computer RGB strips or something like that and I bought these they're called the <laughs> neon digital RGB LED strip for PC addressable LED strip for 5 volt 3 pin ARGB LED header compatible with Aura sync gigabyte RGB fusion MSI mystic light sync come with 12 pieces strong magnetic brackets a long name but that's how Amazon is. Um, that was about $25 USD. They were really easy to install. Uh, I'd say the hardest part was just deciding where I wanted to put them. Um, once I did that they just went into the LED header. It's really easy. It also came with pieces to curve the strip which is really helpful in a tiny case like this because if I did it straight it wouldn't have fit anywhere at like any position in this case because it's just pretty tiny. Um, I decided not to put it around the radiator because that blocked a lot of light so I just have it above my motherboard and at the bottom of the case to kind of hopefully illuminate up. I'm not too sure how much that's doing but uh. So in the box with the RGB strips came a card saying that this company Airgoo Neon, not too sure what it is, um, they were looking for VIP members to test some of their products for free so I was like, yeah, I love tech. A free tech's even better. I'm definitely going to do that. So I contacted them after putting it in, um, and they sent out the three-pack of the digital fan frames. I don't have the Amazon listing name, but everything will be linked down below. Um, I don't get any money or anything if you click the links. It's just a generic link to everything. So it was a absolute pain in the butt to install, but that's entirely on me. You're supposed to install it um, on the fans and then put the fans in the computer case, but because I had already built the computer, I didn't want to take the fans out, so I just installed them with the fans in the computer, which looking back was so dumb. I should have just taken the extra work to take the fans out first because in the end, some of the fan frames only have, or I think one of them only has two screws in it, and I ended up losing a screw somewhere in the computer case. Uh, luckily, nothing shorted, but it does leave me a little worried. Uh, I looked for it everywhere and I couldn't find it, so... Fingers crossed that doesn't come back to haunt me in the future. So if you get this, I'd either recommend uh, installing them before you put the whole computer together, or if your computer's already put together, take the time out. Don't be like me. Take the time to take the fans out, install them, put the fans back in. That's so much better of an idea and I regret not doing that. Alright, so pardon the mess, but um, first of all, I lost a screw somewhere in there, which is concerning. Um, I'm worried it's somewhere that, you know, when I turn on the computer it shorts something. But I've checked all of like the really important places, like I don't think it's stuck on the motherboard somewhere. Um, I, it can't go in the power supply. It's not on top of the graphics card. It didn't fall into this hole behind the AIO, so I think I'll be okay. That does still concern me, um, but I think I can ignore it for the time being. 
Uh, some of them, because I opted to not take out my existing fans, um, I couldn't get some of the screws in, but they're all still in there solid. I think one of them only has two screws, but it's still in there pretty well. So I have it all wired up. There's three cables. They are all connected to each other. And then there is an extension cable that will go into the motherboard to light it up. So let's go ahead and plug that in. All right, so scratch most of what I said earlier. Because I already have the um, Ergo LED strips in here, um, you can see that right there. I think I was able to splice in the fans to ignore this cable management, we'll get to it. Um, so this is where the fans came out. These two cables right here are the two um, LED strips, and then this connects to all of the fan frames. So I think, it was hard to trace them all back, I think they're all connected. So I'm going to go ahead and turn the computer on before I put the panel back on. Just double check if I can get my hand back there. Jeez. Okay. Let's go ahead and turn it on. Go ahead and turn my monitors on. Hey, they are connected. And check my, yep, my LED strips are, okay, one of them is not connected, it appears. Which may not be the biggest deal, because I don't think the bottom one was really lighting up anything to begin with. Plus, I have the fan frame down there, which can light up everything. So, let's wait to boot into Windows. That doesn't take long with an NVMe. Um, let's go ahead and go into... Sorry. Um, I need to go into RGB Fusion. I also want to open NZXT. But here... Yeah, I want to make that all white. Yeah, and the fan frames are... Well, they're green because I just did that. Um, I want it to be static white. Uh, it doesn't look like it's wanting to play nice. That looks kind of green to me. Maybe that's just me. Let me change it to a different color. Make sure it's actually changing colors. Um, so we'll try red. Okay, yeah. So not the whitest white. I'll say that. I might keep it red. Let me go back to NZXT, uh, which appears to be broken. Hello. Okay. So that is looking good. Um, it doesn't, because I have it all spliced together, I can't control the fan frame and the LED strips separately, which is kind of a bummer. Also, that's red. It looks kind of orange on camera, um, but it's red. It all matches nicely. But I think I'm going to go ahead and make that white because I prefer that. I like to have the nice mix of red and white. Okay, yeah, that does look pretty white. So that looks good. I'm going to go ahead and put on the side panels. Um, I need to... Okay, why is it changing colors? It's white on there. I'm not sure why it's changing colors. That's weird. Yeah, they all changed to yellow. But it's set to white. White of lie. It's still orange yellow. Um, sync mode? Static white. I have it set to white and it's just going to like an orange yellow. Whenever I click white, it, like, flashes. Okay, turn everything off. Yep, okay, off. Static. Yeah, it goes to white and then just goes back to that orange-yellow. So, I think we'll have to go back to the drawing board and unsplice, or unconnect the LED strips from the fan frames as well. I do have one more RGB connection, but it's down there, so I was kind of hoping to avoid that. But it looks like that's what I'm going to have to do. So, wish me luck. Alright, so that was an absolute nightmare. Um, I had to take the GPU out temporarily. Um, and did redid all the cables. So, let's go ahead and turn it back on again. Before I close everything back up and restart it. 
but I believe the fan frames are plugged in underneath there and the strips are there the strips and the fan frames are connected into separate headers which should help me out here I'm thinking they are looking white not orangey yellow so that's a good sign first of all but we need to wait to open RGB fusion and in the XC, this is hard when my mouse mat is just covered and stuff. Okay, so in the XC is looking good. RGB fusion, huh? Okay, yeah, yeah. Okay. So boom, the frames are white. I got everything white. So because they're on separate headers now, let's say I want the strips to be red. These are the strips right here. Apply. Oh, I did fix the bottom one, uh, bottom strip as well. So boom, strip red, strip red, fan white, fan white, fan white. So we are golden. The white is white, not orangey yellow. I'm not sure what was going on there. I think maybe I just had too much stuff connected. Whew, so it looks good. I'm gonna put everything back together. I, wow, I had to flip it on its side, take out the GPU, but not fully because if you haven't noticed, it's a behemoth. It barely fits in this case. Um, so I just kind of had to scoot it out of the way while holding it. Needless to say, I'm very sweaty, so I'm gonna put this back together, cool off, write the review for this, and I'll see you guys later. I also had an issue where at first, uh, because I already had the LED strips installed, I decided to plug the fan frames into the same wires, because they have this cool, like, cable thing, cable system, where you can plug everything in. So at first, I just had the two RGB strips plugged in together, and then just one wire going into one LED header. And so I was like, oh, well, let's just use that one LED header because I don't want to get to the other bottom one. That's a pain in the butt. And as you can already tell, I wanted to avoid any unnecessary work. Um, but that did not work because as soon as I booted the computer, the white fan frames, I had it set on white, but they were showing as a, like an orangey yellow. So I turned it off, retook everything apart, and I made it to where the fan frames were on their own set of wires, the LED strips were on their own set, and they were each plugged into two separate headers. And after I did that, it was perfect. Psych, it was perfect for like five minutes. Um, I went downstairs to grab something, and when I came back, it was back to orange yellow. So it was white at first, went back to orange yellow, and if I went back, I can show you right now. All right guys, so I thought we were all set. But I went to go take my sunglasses because I was actually interested to see if they work as a polarization filter. Um, I think it might. But whatever, that's not the point. The point is, that's not white. So while I was downstairs getting my sunglasses, uh, it broke again. Because that's definitely not white. As you can see, the RGB strips are white. The fans are not. Um, so I may have to, all the other colors I think look fine. So I may just have to end up doing red for the fans, which, yeah, that looks red. I was going to say it looks kind of pinkish red, but yeah, it's red. And, you know, because I put them in separate headers, I still get that white, um, LED strip, which I like because it really lights up the whole case a lot more than if I did red. Do you mind? You're so cute, Jack. You're so cute. So yeah, I'll probably have to keep the fans red. Um, sitting at my desk, that red's not too annoying, so I think I'll get used to it. Um, I'll play around with it a bit more and see if I can get it white, because I'm not too sure why it's like yellow-orange. Um, I may have to reach out to Ergu about that, see if that's a common problem, if so, how I can fix it and whatnot, so. But you gotta stop trying to get up here. No, 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 Alright, so, uh, 
Okay, I think you can see the computer. I set it to white and it's clearly an orange yellow. So I went with red, but I really would prefer if it was white. So, you know, I went to Amazon, to the Amazon reviews to see if this was a common problem and no one else has mentioned it. So, you know, I will reach out to Airgu Neon um, and see if this is a known issue, if there's a way to fix it, you know, whatever. Uh, if I get a response back from them, I will pin a comment down below with their response. So despite the few quirks, I would definitely recommend both of these products. Um, if you're wanting to go with white for the fan frames, maybe look for a different product or maybe just get RGB fans. Um, but if you're looking for any other color, definitely recommend it. The LED strips, 100% recommend. They're great. Honestly, so much better than a lot of the like RGB strips I've used that have the sticky stuff on the back. The magnetic part is just really helpful. It was really easy to install. They look great. Love them. If you guys have any questions about either of these products, leave a comment and I will do my best to answer them as soon as I see the comments. Alright, I'll see you guys in the next video. My new cat Jack is in the video so I feel kind of bad for my dog. She hasn't been getting as much attention lately.